Hey everybody, Kusmos here, back again with Last Dream World Unknown. We are still in Mistonia, and we are looking for the Researcher uh, to help us with the radar. So I'm not sure where exactly they are. Just going to kind of... Uh, Volcanologist? No. Doesn't seem to be the case. Just aimable, probably not the Goblin. It'd be very sad to discover if it's in fact Goblin. Anybody in a room? You don't look like a researcher. Uh, is that some useful clue? Wait. While well, I just returned from exploring the northern tundra during my travels, I unexpectedly stumbled across a cavern with guards who wouldn't allow me to pass. The question about their employer made stand fast when it divulged any information. Since they recovered, going to head back out. Okay. Not sure if that's a tip to something. Oh, I thought that. Thought there'd be more rooms up here. And probably not the cook. Okay, so. Any of you likely? Mercenary Skilled Scout. Fret Quiet. Name the report. Jolly Engineer. Seems a reasonable. Nope, nothing. Okay, how about you? Dr. Abe, sweater wearer. My service has command higher antis in Theopolis than they might in outlying villages. Cities bring differentiation and concentrated wealth. Say you appear to have seen a few battles or 10,000, eh? For 500,000 gold, I could fix you up. How about it? That seems really expensive, doesn't it? Or no? I don't know. Why not? Excellent. For your first fix-up, I'll add in an added bonus. 100 max HP. Very nice. So... Oh, well, he also healed us, I suppose, so... Have you seen the so-called Spiral Cave? Yes, we have. Okay, so I don't know anywhere... I, I don't think the research is going to be in one of the houses. If they are, I'll come back. But I think... After that, our best bet is one of the library areas up here. So we've got this. Well, okay, not this. Again, probably not the goblin. What about you, Mr. Elf? You mean social motion? Yeah, you're probably not the dwarf. No, we know it's not this fella, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, again, what I tell you every time. But like I said, probably. Wait, no, there's probably there is a library over on the other side, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. What about you, Miss? Disappointed traveler. Okay, and okay again. Are you an elf? I have no idea. Junior clerk, probably not it. Bookkeeper, nope. Interesting cost, yada yada. How about you? You're here. Aha! You're on behalf of a scientist at the engineering laboratories in Westonia. Yes, I'm quite familiar with the place. I often visit and exchange ideas with the researchers there. A radar device, really? That's amazing. Are those blueprints for the device? Can I see them? Thank you. The ideas underlying the radar's construction are beyond me. I've never heard of a waveguide, yet I'm familiar with the material silver that is supposed to be used for its construction. There are silver deposits in the mountains to the southeast. Here, take this map with directions to the location of the silver ore. Excellent. Alright, and just one last task we have here. I would like to see if any of our new recipes are worthwhile. So, that's not the way. Let's find where the center of the shop. I think the shops are all along the front row. Weapons and armor, okay. And everything else. Right, what are you, sir? You're a... Are you listening to this? No, item shop. The... The hunter hands the shopkeeper an ingredient list. With the hunter's tracker skill, she can purchase specialized potions from item shops that will increase and decrease the encounter rate. Aha, so that's where we get those. Let's do another potion is used to change the encounter rate. So let's... And let's buy a small handful of them. Ah, there they are. Like, ten. Ten of each is just fine. I doubt I'll use nearly that many. But they'll be very useful when I want to either grind for stuff or... Just 
not be annoyed. Those plus the rings should do pretty good. Any recipes? Alright, we're looking for things that use ruby or sapphire. I don't know how many, if any, we have. Ruby, excellent. Can I use bow? Bow that decreases the top rate of enemy remains. It's a bit of an attack downgrade to rally out, but... If I remember, that's a big if, if I remember to switch it out before our fights, or before, like, boss fights, she doesn't usually attack in the standard fights, she's just scanning. So, yeah, let's make that. I'm not making anything I, using anything I desperately need. And, Giant's Armor is Emerald, Emerald, Emerald. Ruby Shield for the Ward. I don't have that. Uh, well, it's not... Oh, did we make one already? Or did I find one? Huh. That's weird. Dark Knight's Armor. Mostly a downgrade for everybody. And a Goring Shield. Missing the Demon Branches and... That's... That might be worthwhile. Ah, that loss of magic defense on Jareth, though. Ah. Alright, so we've got uh, a little bit more than I expected. With the encounter rate manipulation. Which you don't need that on the overworld because the MOA pretty much eliminates that. Now, let us see... Where... Okay, so I can just... That's a pretty easy trip. At least with the help of the engineer holes. Tunnels, rather. I don't have anything for this, do I? No, okay. And it's like here? Here. How do I dig again? Do I have to get off the MOA? That's probable. Dug and found. Silver. Excellent. Alright, so this take us? No. Back to the boat. I'm going to take a quick stop by in Westonia because I should, by this point in time, have everything I need for the Grey Mage quest. I don't know what exactly that gives us. I mean, I know, in general, the class quests get you, like, new abilities and stuff, but I don't know what that ability might be. So recall I head straight south. At the very least, I should run to the continent, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, of course, we want the southern dock. I should have equipped that uh, bow. My bad. I mean, I, I assume it stacks, right? I mean, I feel like the hunter's like the main user of bows. It makes sense if it stacks. And if it doesn't, well, I don't know how we'll figure it out, but hopefully we will. Well, what is, okay, what is her ability? Is it passive? 50% more item drops. Okay. That's a tricky number to approximate. I don't even know what the drop rate actually is by default. And what was that? I needed something back that way. I cannot recall. Okay, so things to do. First off, make it up to Estonia. Head to the engineering labs, which I think is not the library. Uh, Magic Labs, that will do. Head on up, and Mr. Grey Researcher, hello! Wonderful, ah yes, I can already tell from the mixture that this Cosmic Pressure does indeed exist. Let me teach you the spell. Cosmic Pressure, let's see what that does exactly. Um, is it a combat spell? Ah yes it is. Deals damage equal to 50% of current enemy HP slash targets all enemies. Is that 
basically just a better version of current. Huh. Now somewhere I've got... Don't I have a deal like half their life? I don't know. Let's equip it and see how it does. I thought I had something that did that, but it wasn't that great. Uh, what do I want to get rid of, though? I mean, Hellfire's not that impressive. And the fact that he doesn't go first... I mean, that doesn't... I need more slots is what I need. You know what? We can... Maybe I don't want to do it without Fast Life. We've got plenty of potions we can do without Cure. Where is... There's a lot of abilities I don't use. Attack plus 30, attack, and attack minus control enemies. Seriously boost one ally? Okay, anyways. Cosmic Pressure, what is this? Hmm. Got like so many abilities here that I don't know what to do with. Null Dark. Do I have Nulls for all or just... Eh, most? Yeah, so... So many abilities here. Alright, we'll try that one. Okay. Anything else? As a Grey Mage, I appreciate the power of physical weapons, especially if they're imbued with some magical powers. The synergy of physical and magical attacks is the pinnacle of combat. During my research, I've uncovered that the Infernal Sword, the famed weapon of an ancient Dwarven warrior, was lost during an expedition to a treacherous, treacherous island south of Ugbar. The sword, rivaling the mighty Tearfang, was crafted by master Dwarven metallurgists and imbued by the elven wizards of Valendra. When exploring the volcanic caves of this unexplored island, a powerful eruption rocked the island and the entire Dwarven expedition was killed and the Infernal Sword was lost. Bring me the sword, and I will handsomely reward you for your efforts. Alright. So, let us... Do we want something to... I also have something to do... Library? Um... I think there was... Some... The... Puzzle guy? Is this where he is? I mean, obviously not here. Is there a second floor here? That I can make it to? I thought there was. Ah, there it is. Maybe this isn't where he is. I, well, obviously not, because... Okay, that would make... How does it make this? I have no idea. I, I wish the roofs had signs. That would make this so much easier. Oh, dang it, they don't have a route up, do they? All right, let's head on down this way through a slightly winding route. There we go. And out, thank you. So, scientific laboratories. And who was the fellow doing the... Ah, okay. ah this heart will work perfectly for my recipe. Excellent work. All right, can we put... Okay, so you need more of those. Alright. Is there anything in here? I mean, there's gotta be something somewhere, right? I cannot re Nothing. Now, there was one of those... Uh, dates up here, though. Genie's Engineer. Okay. Ah, Zeno, Puzzle Aficionado. We did eight puzzles so far. I wonder how many more puzzles there could be. Please take this as a reward. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Some lovely bombs. Tell me when you have more puzzles solved. Okay. Now we are done here. I think. Yeah. Like, 99% certain. I went too far. So, let us head on out, back to the boat, and Ugbar? Uh, Ugbar seems a good idea. It's so slow. 
uh, just on the basis that I can do a step of my Grey Mage quest. Maybe get a new spell. Maybe something a little more interesting than that Cosmic Balance. Okay, where is Ugbar? Do I know? Well, let's change Zoom. Uh, uh, that's obviously not Ugbar. That obviously isn't. Okay, so humans... Elves? I think... So somewhere here... Volcanic... I, that looks volcanic. Okay, so let's head a little bit to the east. And then... This way. Dodge the rock, fight the fish, and see where things go. Now let's see if I can figure out if that bow has an effect. I mean, maybe? Well, what I should do, it, maybe I can check status? Is this it? This looks volcanic. Well, it looks red anyways. I don't know if red equals volcanic, but... Well, there's a volcano. New slot. As you stare at the spirit, a voice whispers in your head. I sense great gray magic potential inside you. You may pass. Excellent. I don't know how... Diff... Can I walk on that? It hurts. But I can. Ooh, those are interesting looking chests. Now the question is... Okay, first I've got to fight this. Are we going to get a way to pass the lava, or is it just take the damage and suck it up? I mean, both seem halfway feasible to me, honestly. Ooh. Things actually survived the ICBM. It's always impressive when that happens. So, I don't know if these are integral to the to our success. But, let us follow the path we can walk safely, and see if that does it for us. And again. Alright, we're about halfway to 115, which is exciting. And again, I'm really hoping that we get a way to go on the lava paths without taking damage. I, I do kind of hate the whole force damage thing. No, we do not. Okay. That's always fun. So we need to aim for shortest path. Oh, and we're on fire. Oh, good lord. Well, hopefully finish this in one round because uh, half my party might die to the flames. Ooh. This is... Brutal. Zeal, thank goodness they died. Alright, okay, here's some land. We're so messed up. What I think I shall do is how about you heal some folks up? Maybe not all the way. Maybe I should not have went all the way. Just because I'm interesting, liable to get damaged again. I wonder if it is beneficial. Sid here has an ability called Doctor. 10 HP each step. Perhaps that will be enough to counterbalance things? Don't know. Yeah, it's something. Alright, so... I just let the chests? I mean, I... Uh, let's make certain there's nothing over here. There's a spirit. And there's... Ah, uh, yep. More route down. 
Perfect SD orbs. Let us... No, skills. I said skills, sir. See if this... counterbalances things. Ooh, no, no, run! I think we'll be fine. Ooh, there's a safe spot. This could be a terrible mistake to do this without having healed. I'm relying oh so hev he heavily on, on me continuing to go first. And just a little finish him off. Yes. See for game? Sure. Back to the top. Okay, well, I should definitely heal up for this one. Let's just use the potions. I've got plenty. And MP is fine. Lava tubes, eh? We, the spirits of, de of the dead, will not give up our possessions so easily. Furious magma spirit. All right. I mean, do we go... Well, let's get a meat shield. Let's get one set of buffs, right? That will do, and... Null magic. That should be plenty. I think. I mean, I'll probably have to rally out through a scan, because I want to scan things. Obviously. Perhaps I should have Jareth with the rope off. Can it compare? No idea. And we got thermite plasma, eh? Alright, that stings a bit. But I am pleased with my... Okay, let's... I doubt this will work on a boss. But hey, why not try it, right? Okay, time for you to start stealing because, goodness, they die quickly. And do I want to do anything else? No, not really. Scientific Fury. That was a comically powerful hit. And even without buff. And I don't see the potions matching that. Did do anything? Nope. Didn't figure it would, but hey. Worth a try. So, Telekinetic Fury, how about you give us a heal? And keep on stealing. Nice, nice. Perfectly clear. I'm assuming the armor was kind of like the peak item. Megatons of almost 40,000. I feel like that might have been the wrong spell for you to cast, buddy. I mean, I could be wrong, but, mm, yeah. So, let us just... Uh, let's ensure that you get the hit. And sure, let's try an intense study. Oh, you missed! It's going to have something I haven't stolen. That makes me a little sad. Might as well get an XP bonus, though, while I'm here. And... Dead. Hmm, Sid does not have any SP doubling things. Alright, so what did I get? Infernal Sword, of course. I mean, he wants it back, but... Looks fire damage and absorbs 50% of fire damage. That sounds pretty fun, at least. How does that compare what you've got. Can you not wield it? Or did I already put it on? No? Interesting. I can't... Hmm. Okay. Sure. Not what I meant to do. Let's at least use it through here. I wonder if... 
it make him immune to all this mess? Or at least take less damage to it? That'd be lovely. Well, okay. Not so lovely if we get attacked by a fire spirit, though. Okay, angry wind spirit. Again, very risky. Should not be doing this this way. And the old scan them. Please don't be fire spirits. I would get wrecked by a fire spirit, to be honest with you. It's just because, well... If he's dealing fire damage, it means he's not going to... Okay, you've taken that, and this is up where we... Yeah, bomb that open. So Down and out. So yeah, this is pretty much a take damage, suck it up, and deal. Let's try to... Oh, no! Oh! Angry Fire Spirits. Okay, let's change the game a little bit. I... Let's try that just to ensure he doesn't do the wrong thing. And you heal us. Continue with that. Oh, bloodlust. I haven't even used it. And I don't think I have any other hit everybody type attacks. So just in case we end up healing them. So please nope, that's not take us off of being on fire. Okay, so it may have not been necessary, but I wanted to ensure that I wasn't going to heal them. And I really don't want to find out if that sword's going to heal them. So there's nothing there. Good to go. Just going to do this nice and systematic on our way back. Take every path. Try to avoid all the fights. Oh. Alright. Wind Spirits, that's fine. Standard uh, procedure will do it just fine. So again, once we finish all this, get all of our chests. How could you finish them off? We'll again be heading back to Estonia to uh, see what comes next. So, I'll just continue around this way, picking up the chests and hopefully avoiding fights or blowing stuff up. Bait, huh? I wonder if that's... Can you not get all of the... Oh no, achievements. All of the blowing up stuff achievements in one run? Because... If that's... If that counter towards one of them... 15. Oh, okay. All on Earth 57. So if that counts towards it, that kind of implies you can't. Interesting. Okay, Blue Spirit, I'm fine with. I mean, maybe I'll be able to get out of here. Nope. Walk right in front of it. Okay, Ice Spirit. I should. Uh oh. Probably wreck these. Once it comes along to Zeal, assuming they even survive. The ICBM. You think about it, it's kind of a frightening idea that things are. Uh oh. That was surprisingly risky. Oh, so close. So very close. Alright, so down is our next direction. Alright, so that loops back around. I think. Yeah. That's not something I can blow up. So, continuing on, I think I'm just about done with this whole area. So, back to working our way around the loop. So, I seem to be missing with that sword an awful lot. I don't like that. Do I still have fast life or did I replace it with something? Yeah, I still got fast life. Alright, so you do that. You make certain he dies. 
you really make certain he dies. You just want her up to make certain she gets her XP. There we go. See, that's what happens when you run. Alright, level 115. Excellent. I'm very interested in this level because it is more new skills. So let's take a quick break to see what we can learn. Self-preservation. Attack defense and magic defense plus 20%, HP and MP plus 100% to users for battle. Wow. What else we get? Some nice looking stuff. Team player. Max HP plus 50% healed and plus into all their stats for all allies except user. That's an interesting one. What about you? Eternal arrow. 500% normal attack plus 500 HP non-elemental damage. Chance to inflict all status effects. And we also have a fast heal entire party. Nice. Scans all enemies and nice bonuses and enemies win within. Attacks all enemies. Very nice. And next. Throat slit. 500% normal attack and steal. Chance to instantly kill enemy. I mean, I'm also going to use it on bosses, which can't insta-kill. Increase stats of crafted equipment by 10%. Oh, ho, ho. So. Does that... Okay, who has crafted? You don't have any... I think I have a native bow. Oh, that. So 468 is, is her attack right now. Let's see if that changes. Aurelia, what do you got? Still 468. Huh. Will it take effect in battle, perhaps? I really don't know. And... Okay, there are other routes here. Okay, take a moment. Can I... Alright, of course you're... burning presently. So let us just follow the standard procedure. 468 attack. Huh. That's crafted equipment. It should be better, right? I'm a little confused on that ability if it actually works. I I'm feeling a little bit doubtful about it, to be honest. But whatever. I mean, if I'm using a crafted equipment anyway, then it doesn't matter all that much. But, you know, a little disappointing if that if it's not working properly. Alright, continuing on. Avoiding fights where we can, and killing when we can't. Cryobomb, and another cryobomb. Excellent. Very funny. Cryobomb in the lava. Ambrosia and Nectar. Can we avoid this fight? I don't know about that. I want to not get next to him. I think that's what triggers the attacks. So, Ultra Blitz, Ultra Surge, and Ultra Bubble. Alright, and we get Hyper Remedy. Awesome. This was in your head. I sense great gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already said that. So, let's just use one of these. I haven't been stealing as many large cottages lately, that's a shame. So, I'm going to go ahead and head on back to Estonia to turn that in. To see what they want next. Meet you there. Alright, back in Estonia, ready to talk to the Grey Researcher. You have it? Haha! I'm giddy like a teenager! I've searched so long for the sword and now it's finally within my reach. Please, let me have it. That's not that great. Don't think I haven't forgotten our deal. I will teach you in the way of the Infernal Strike in exchange for the Infernal Sword. Yeah, sure. It's a pleasure dealing with an honest warrior. For a moment, I was worried that I was dealing with someone with no ethics. I'm glad to know I was wrong. Boom, Infernal Strike. Let us check that out. Yet another skill I don't know where to put. Right, it's not one we have to learn. It's one we have to find a bloody slot for. Let's... 
see where they put it. Um, infernal strike. Infernal strike? Where? Is it? Wow, right at the top. 1250 damage and plus 600% normal attack to one enemy. Inflicts damage with the fire element. That's just a well better version than that. Better than Rush Assault. That's for sure. Yeah, so Rush Assault is the base version of that. Let's go that. Alright. Maybe I'll sort those out later. Anything else? And it almost helped me so far, but there's more that we can do together. In many ancient magical texts, the authors make reference to the legendary Ash Totem. For years, I believed it was purely legend, but recent revelation, revelations have revealed the true existence of the relic. The Ash Totem is a powerful magical relic that was once in the possession of the famed elven magician Sarno. It's fitting that the relic was buried in a mine that bears his name. In all my research, I've been able to find why the Ash Totem was buried in the Sarno mine. What I do know is that the Ash Totem is heavily protected. To even enter the mine, you must have the key which I have managed to recently procure. Will you venture into the Sarno mine and retrieve the Ash Totem for me? Yes, yes I will. Thank you, please take the Sarno key and head into the southern tundra of Holdra. You'll find the Sarno mine to the east of Tizarin. Alright. So, we'll be heading to the Sarno mine in the next episode. Until then, I do hope you enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments. But, uh, until next time, catch you later.